Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I think this is the last part uh, about the composition of the intellectual cells. Uh, the, uh, uh, this part is uh, we're going to discuss the control banner. This control banner. How to set the data and at the same time what are the data you can see on the ventilator. So you put some sort of data and the air bus is here and through the passages uh, there is uh, some sort of data which comes out in the form of pressure resistance, compliance, something like that. So these are the data I've collected. So this panel is just composed of three parts. The first, which is the panel for the seat value. You sit, you put certain value. Certain with the, these values, with the, this control variable, phase variables, or the alarm data, and this is a variable data. And then the alarm should, you should never forget the alarm system. Usually most of the doctors are, or uh, therapists, uh, respiratory therapists, they usually the part is that and they forget the alarm. When you forget what code, it's the alarm is uh, the alarm of this patient for this data. It is not a common alarm. If the patient is having, say, the total volume is uh, 300 ml, you put an alarm. If it is uh, 250, please give me an alarm. If the peak pressure of the patient is 10, tell him, please, if it is 15, give me an alarm. If it is uh, uh, 8, give me an alarm. Which is, uh, this is varies according to the patient. So this, and the final issue is output data to discuss in a moment. So the impact, uh, input data, this is the variables. You set the control variables, uh, the uh, phase variables, uh, these are, you set, and uh, at the same time, the alarm. So this is, these are the data for the patient which determine or which define the breast, the character of the breast uh, for the patients. And this is the output. The output for these variables will come out numerically and uh, uh, graphic. And at the same time, the uh, output for these alarms, you said you see it. This is an output for for your alarm of the patient. So, and in addition to this, uh, there is some sort of formulas which is calculated uh, as a function of the of the of the lungs or the respiratory system in the form of what we call parameters. Compliance is calculated, dynamic or static compliance, resistance and inspiratory and expiratory resistance, uh, something like that. Total minute volume, uh, oxygen consumption, enter the carbon dioxide, a lot of things can be done. And finally, the output is a device alarm. Something wrong happened uh, in, the, in, in the circuits of the of these machines. Like we are going to discuss. So this is uh, you have this is a this is a panel. You should look at uh, all these uh, alarm. The panel for the set values. This is M This is a mode. Mode is. Uh, is a constellation of control variables, phase variable, condition variable, respiratory circuit, type of respirations, and waveforms. All of these, we select certain points of these to, to make our mode of intelligence. So you have to vote this. And this is a bit like that. So this, if you said that this is the patient's and controlled mandatory, mandatory ventilation, so this will be lighted. So this is, uh, this is not uh, with this mode. So it is, not, it is out of order. So this does, does not lie. So this is, you have to fill. This is a flow, 60, 40, what, no, what, what value? This is battery rate, 12, 10, 15, something like that. This is battery time, this is tidal volume, this is a big battery pressure. This is auction, this is a triggering, this is a beep. So we have to fill the data according to the patients, according to the physiology, pathology, or the demand of the patients, according to the body weight of the patients, according to the uh, requirement for the, uh, according to a lot of data, in order to control, this is usually to control the pressures of carbon dioxide, auctions, uh, and the edge. So this is output data, which is numerical, and at the same time, graphic. So this is the data. Each ventilator has its, uh, its own uh, uh, mode of uh, demonstration of, of this uh, control panel. This is uh, Hamilton. This is gives you this is input data. This is the output data. This is the McKay. All this is the data you put. Or this is the McKay. When it comes to the control variables, you have to define. This is the flow, volume, time, pressure, FI2, respiratory rate, according to the patients and according to the mode I've mentioned before. The same thing for the phase variables. So this is the triggering, how much the trigger, is, 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 it, uh, is it a flow, is it a pressure, rising time, how fast, the limits, the cycle of, the inspiratory pool, the beep. So you have to define all these things according also to the, uh, to the mode of ventilation. And the control, this is the alarm system. Usually this is, I'm highlighting this is a very important part because most of the uh, respiratory service, all the doctors uh, who are managing or dealing with the ventilator, usually they forgot this uh, to, uh, uh, to set this alarm system. You have set the alarm system according to the patient, according to this patient on the ventilator. 
which is not a common for all. This is how much the flow, how much the total volume, and how much the total volume to be less if it is increased than, than the set value, and in some minute volume to be more or to be less should give you an alarm, the pressure more or less uh, uh, for, from the set value from the abelian value to give you an alarm, respect or relate to be less or more than certain value to give you an alarm. This is for this patient, so you take care. And so this is, that's it. This is the alarm system that is for you to have the high and low. This is uh, a dragon. And also the same, another ventilator gives you in this formula, you have to set the high and low. And this is another, each, uh, each ventilator has its own way to set, uh, uh, to put the alarm systems. And the, uh, this is another, the last one, which is the device failure. And then when it comes to the device failure, this is an alarm. If something wrong happened uh, with the device, with the circuits inside, some, some, some sort of corruption of the circuits, I don't know, this is an engineering problem, it gives you an alarm. And this alarm may be uh, 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 yellow or uh, red, or it's something wrong with the oxygen supply, with the air supply, with the power supplies, uh, or the alarm, the, this is a patient has been disconnected, this disconnect circuit disconnected. So this is an alarm, give you an alarm, please go and uh, look at this is alarm, what's the problem, and handle it. Don't put off the alarm without uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, the uh, uh, alarm value or what's meant by alarm and what to do in order to uh, uh, fix the problem. This is output data. This is an, an advanced in technology. This is output data that gives you numerical or sometimes uh, graphs about uh, the big and flat pressure, but the two pressures, uh, the IE ratio, the expired at the volume, the minute volumes, the total, the inspiratory, spontaneous breathing, and the mandatory breathing. So, and after that, this is uh, uh, in addition to a lot of things. So this is resist resistance, the inspiratory, expiratory, compliance, minute volume. A lot of that, a big inspiratory pressure. This is negative inspiratory force, this is compliance. Uh, this is uh, rapid uh, shallow breathing, something like that. A lot of data you can take uh, from this uh, from this output data. And the advanced in technology will give you a lot of uh, data which will be uh, helpful to you while you are handling the visions in order to understand what is the underlying pathology and how, especially how to control, how to deliver the breast, at the same time, how to wean the patient uh, of the ventilator. This is our target because when you, when you put the patient uh, on the ventilators, this is a uh, uh, dietary problem. And uh, uh, when you put him, you should start thinking how to be in the patient of this ventilator. Because ventilator is a branch to, uh, 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 to support some point or to treat some point uh, and then escape with the ventilator and leave the patient uh, again take his breath. Uh, this is another data which appear in the form of graphs, whether this is loops or this is a, a, a value. This is a pressure time curve, this is flow time curve, this is volume time curve, and uh, this is a loops flow volume loop and volume pressure loop. These are, this is a, 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 this is a graphs are, are very important, so I'm going to discuss it in detail. Thank you.